Hey everybody, it's Cindy here, and I shared a, a thing earlier that came up in my little heart thoughts book this morning when I was doing my meditation practice and how I get myself going early in the morning. And it was all about declaring the fullness and, and wonderful aspects of life and letting abundance flow into our lives and to knock down some of those negative thoughts and limiting beliefs and so on. And it was just the perfect message for me today because I don't often have days like I did yesterday um, afternoon, but I did struggle a bit because in a window of about two hours, um, I had like one, two, three, four, four um, struggles um, to get something to work right and and then I received some difficult news about a property I own elsewhere and had some um, just just some technology things went awry and then um, and then my my I had a cousin die who who's been very ill and so on so it wasn't a shock but yet it's you know it's just you know it's just like another thing um, you know Anyway, so all of these things kind of, all these realities kind of came rushing in in about a window of about two hours. And I was in a perfectly fine mood yesterday. And I am most of the time, actually. My mother's even accused me of being too happy. <laughs> Is that possible? But anyway, so this came in, this came in, this came in, this came in. And I was like, I was, I like started to feel like overwhelmed and frustrated and stressed and kind of, kind of like I couldn't see straight because I, I had several like problems show up and I wasn't sure how to sort it all out and I know I'm being a little bit vague because it so I'm sorry about that but the point is is I do believe that everybody even me have times where we feel this flood come in and it's hard not to feel frustrated or overwhelmed or start thinking negative thoughts or feeling limited in our minds and so I had to really, I called one of my tribe members, you know, I talked about the tribe, having a tribe in your life a day or two ago, and I called one of my tribe members, and she is a gem, and she really helped turn me around, and my beloved helped turn me around also, and, you know, I got a decent night's sleep and started the day fresh, and so all those situations are still realities. That have not been uh, solved or shifted just yet. I'm working on them, but it's calmed me greatly. And so, the reading from earlier that didn't check it out because I posted it this morning. Um, you know, Louise Hay is an expert in self love, and she writes, wrote affirmations. She's deceased now, but. For the last 40 years of her life, she gave her life to teaching people how to love themselves and how to strengthen their belief system so they could create everything that they wanted in their life. And so, of course, I admire her work deeply and use it constantly. And it worked for me today. This little book of hers, well, I just opened it up randomly in the morning. And it was all about declaring abundance in your life and letting the prosperity flow in, letting the love flow in, and again, eliminating those negative thoughts. So if you're weighed down by negativity today or you have, you have some pretty strong beliefs that you don't deserve to let love or abundance flow into your life or you, you don't deserve to have what you really want or you don't think you're capable of creating what you really want, if you're going down that track at all, you know, please join me in affirming what, uh, what you really do deserve, which is joy, love, peace, abundance, everything. And uh, so when we have those negative thoughts come up, like I said yesterday afternoon, when I had three or four different things going kind of unfortunately all at the same time, I said to myself, I don't know what to do. Like I, I, I don't know what to do. And then I thought, now today I feel I can, I can figure out what needs to be done or there are many options on how to handle this situation and I will choose what's best, what looks best to me and I can figure this out and I am capable and I am intelligent and I am, 
I am kind and loving and these are just little life realities that come along and they can be handled one at a time and I may not get things done in the timely manner that I wanted. See, I'm about to take a long weekend off. I'm going to be off tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so I had this list. This is so my personality. I had this list of everything that was going to get done before I leave. Didn't all have to be done, but it was in my head that I, they were going to all get done. And this has disrupted that flow as well. And so that tripped me up too. Like, okay, so I'm still going to go on vacation. At the same time, I'm going to leave at the very same time. I'm going to be gone as long and I'm going to relax and enjoy it. I'm, I'm insisting that I do because I deserve to take the time off and, and everything will get done next week or when I get back, um, what needs to be done. So I, I told my beloved, um, he called a little while to check on how my day was going today. <laughs> And I told him, you know, I, I said, I'm sorry that I didn't handle things yesterday as well as I would have liked. You know, I'm sorry I got frustrated. And he goes, you weren't, I said, I'm sorry it was difficult. He said, you weren't difficult at all. You just needed to talk it out. And he's like, I understand. And, and uh, you know, and I said, but I, and I am going to give myself some grace around this. I'm going to give myself grace for how I responded and now I'm going to give myself grace as I move through some decision making that I, I need to do in these next days and weeks regarding each of those situations and I'm going to uh, just give myself some blessings and grace and love in the process because everything will get done in the perfect right time all will be well and that's how I'm hoping life can look to you too so let's let's help each other stay on that path that positive path seeing the good, noticing our strengths, seeing the um, extreme abundance in our lives, all the blessings that we have. And so when those, those speed bumps come along, that they really are just bumps. And we go, you know what? It's okay. And, uh, and there's, there's a path and several that we can choose here. And we will, we will progress. We will keep moving. Oh, and another member of my tribe this morning who I happened to talk to said, and I told her kind of what happened, and she said, Cindy, when we get uncomfortable and things aren't, don't flow as easily, that is a, a measure of progress because we're getting outside our comfort zone and trying new things, and, and that is a wonderful sign of progress, and I thought, I love that perspective, so thank you tribe members, you know who you are, and and uh, thank you for being here, ladies, and uh, walking with me through life as we move forward confidently and lovingly. And have a wonderful day. Talk to you again soon. Bye.